Oh, we'll go back to the Minecraft Snapchat. This is Minecraft Snapchat 14W25A. In the Snapchat, Mojang added a new water mob, a water dungeon, maybe some new blocks, and some new sponge mechanics, and maybe a full of mobs. I'm in a new world, and I'm going into the upper world in a minute. That I've been in for the entire one point Snapchat, except for one, to the item from Crash. And I found a water dungeon, and I'm throw water mobs over here. Yep, here's some new mobs. Here's some new mobs. Lag. Whoa, what the heck? That wasn't weird sound. That was a weird sound. I wouldn't want to recover these guys in sharp mode. Guardian. That's what they're called. They give you mining fatigue. Okay, so here's some Prismarine. That sounds annoying. Prismarine bricks. And that's it that I can see. Rise up now. Kill the squid. They don't hate they don't like squids, I can tell. What's this? Dark prismarine. That's just more prismarine. What's that? More prismarine. Okay, let's head inside here. This this will be hard to do in survival mode, I'm guessing. There's some sea lanterns. I'm guessing you would want to bring a water bridge. Whoa! <laughs> I'll think of that. I'm guessing you would want to bring a water breathing potion if you ever encounter one of these. It's a guardian. It's a different variety of a guardian, apparently. What's in there? Nothing. This is so cool. There's more of this though. I'm gonna keep exploring until I find anything new. I will report back. Oh gosh, this will be a nightmare to encounter survival. Wait, there might be something in here. Gold blocks. Eight gold blocks. You can make an chapel. She found one of these and killed all the guardians. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the guardian. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back and I'll be in the snapshot world unless I find anything interesting while I get to do explore this. Okay, I'm back in my creative world about one point snapshots. And I'm here to test the new sponge stuff. And as you can see leaves have a new texture while on fast graphics. That's pretty interesting, I guess. Okay, let's test this out. Sponge. And I have no idea how they would be attainable in survival, if they would be attainable in survival. And they give me a wet sponge. And will this fall back in? No, it won't. What's a wet sponge? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay, be right back and we'll look up the sponge on the wiki and see if it will be obtainable in survival. Okay, I am back in the water dungeon world, and if you kill guardians, you get prismarine crystals. Well, not all the time, but that's how I got those. I have no idea what those are used for. And, I have a did a... Whoa, heck, what the heck? That's kind of scary. Okay, yeah. and as I was saying before, I was interrupted by that scary sound, I guess. There are two, as far as I can understand, there are two, will be two ways to obtain sponge. And one of them is, they both involve the water dungeon. So if you want sponge into a you're going to have to go to the water dungeon. One of them is by killing the big guardian. Whoa, who's going to shower? by killing the bigger guardian. I can find that and I'll show you that. And there will also be a room filled with sponge, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if there's one of those rooms in this water dungeon though. 
I'll be back when I find the big guardian so that I, I can kill it and get sponge and show you guys. Oh, I'm back. I found the sponge room. Pretty interesting, huh? Okay, I'll be right back once I find the big guardian. Okay, I'm back and I found the big guardian and I'm gonna kill you. But he does state that these things do respawn so that you can kill them over and over again. Sponge. But sponge be specific. And I will be back in the creative world to show you some other things about sponge. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back in the creative world. And it, the new mechanics are a bit more complicated than killing a 5x5x5 five by five by five area. And it only removes force blocks. They fell back in after a period of time. Yeah, but it was look pretty cool. I don't know why this is built back in though. That's probably because of this thing in the middle. Okay. And if there is a wall separating water from water, it will not clear the water outside the wall. And if you smelt a wet sponge, it will give you a sponge. Whoops, nope, I don't, I don't want to start light shooting. Okay, that's it for the snapshot, as far as I'm aware. I, I'm actually going to be right back and look at the change log and see if I missed anything. Okay, I'm back. Oh, look at the change log in a little bit. And there's a new block called Core Start. And I'll show you how to cut that in a minute. And it looks different than dirt. Not by much, bro. You can plant ferns and stuff on it. You can put... Can grass grow on it? I don't know. No, I don't want to watch grass grow. Okay, I'll be right back in the creative world and I'll show you two more things. And then we'll look at the change of log. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to show you how to craft... Coarse dirt. You'll need two dirt and two pebble. It goes like that. Core start. Pretty cool. Oh, what the heck happened there? Core start. Okay, and you can now make cracked stone brick. Just smelt stone brick in a furnace and you get cracked stone brick. It's pretty nice. And there's also one more thing I need to show you. There's a new enchantment, and let me check the potion again. And Bill. Boots. Depth Strider is the name of the enchantment. Whoops, nope. Dang it. I didn't do it. Dang it. Depth Strider. Boots. Boom, boom. I actually equip it this time. And that enchantment makes you move faster underwater. And I drank the potion. This enchantment makes you move quicker underwater. It makes you move quicker while you swim. And it makes you be able to walk. In fact, I think you can walk faster underwater than you can above water with enchantment, which is pretty cool. Okay, I'll be right back and we'll look at the change log. Okay. <coughs> okay, I'm back. There are a couple more things I have to show you before I look at, look at the change log. But, this is being recorded the next day after most of the other clips. And apparently the fast texture leaves was a bug that's been fixed in 14W25B, which so I'm now wearing. And in tab, you can now see players' faces. If I hold tab, you can see my face. Okay, now we can go look at the change log and the one of the video. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to read Mojang's official change log to you. I added a new hostile mob. Introduced Bungie's to survival with new behavior and looks. 
and then stuff that is censored with squares on their website. Three question marks, bullet point. <laughs> we wrote how items are rendered. We wrote how items are. We wrote how blocks are rendered. We wrote how block data is handled, and we wrote history to be used to feel. <laughs> okay. So until next time, like, favorite, comment, subscribe, whatnot, and I will see you in the next snapshot. Bye.